Hi, welcome to the Arcade School. You know, today's video games and electronic pinball machines are really state-of-the-art computer sophistication. And quite frankly, that's left a lot of mechanics a little bewildered. How do you fix something when you can't see the stepper step? How do you fix something when you can't see the relays open and close? Well, in fact, in a way you can see the stepper step, and in a way you can see the relays open and close. But you can't use your eyes. You have to use a piece of test equipment. And the piece of test equipment you want to use is called a digital multimeter. Well, this particular digital multimeter is made by a company called Beckman. It's the Beckman Tech 310. And like other digital multimeters, this particular meter can be used to measure AC and DC voltage, AC and DC current, and resistance. There's also a very special range on this meter. It's called the diode test range. By using the diode test range, which is built right into the meter, we can test diodes and transistors without having to buy a separate piece of test equipment to do it. During this lesson, we'll be taking a look at the digital multimeter and effective ways to use it to repair electronic games. Let's take a closer look at this extremely versatile piece of test equipment. The single selector knob in the center of the meter selects not only the function of the meter, that is, voltage, current, or resistance measurements, but also sets the maximum range for each individual setting. DC voltages as high as 1500 volts and AC voltages as high as 1000 volts can be measured with the meter. The meter can also measure resistances from as little as one-tenth of an ohm up to 20 million ohms. Although the meter has AC and DC current measurement capabilities, we don't measure current when repairing games, so we won't talk about the current settings. The meter also includes a special diode check function that's useful for checking all types of different semiconductors. We'll look at all these tests during this lesson. Well, one of the easiest tests that we can make with the meter is to measure the voltage of a battery. We use batteries all over the place in electronic games. For instance, this Williams video game uses a battery as a backup to maintain the bookkeeping information and the high score to date and that other important information that we don't want to lose when the game's turned off at night.